this other thing I wanted to read. This reading would be a past life reading. Okay, I got it in my new past life oracle deck. So I'm going to break it in with you guys. It's already cleaned and blessed. Okay, if you're new to my channel, welcome to the Divine Fem Tribe. Welcome to the gang gang. For all my A1 day ones, what to do, gang gang. Okay, so let's go ahead and tap in. Now, this is my first time ever doing a past reading, um, past life reading. So, okay, so we're going to see how this is going to go. Um, and let's see what, um, past, what you, what type of past life you've had. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start off with my past life Oracle deck. I also got my handmade, um, spiritual gifts deck and I have my regular tarot deck. So we're going to go ahead and tap into this. Okay. Calling in my ancestors and spirit guides of the highest light light only for the collective. Tell me what their past life is like. Remember, this is a general energy read. The take will resonate and leave the don't. Trust the take, okay? All right, let's see what was going on in the past life here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for using me as a vessel for the collective. Whew. Let me find you how to do so. Vibration. Okay. What's going on in the collective past? I see it for the collective. General energy spirit. Whoa. Nothing came out. I see scribe and write. And some of you guys could have been writers. So we got spouse. Okay. Some of you guys were married in the past life to your twin flame. Okay. What else, spirit? Something happened in this marriage, too. We got baby. So some of you guys had kids. I feel like y'all had birth spiritual children. Oh, this is a good one. Child's baby. Oh, what else, spirit? Just trying to jump. Health. Some of you guys could have been in the healthcare field, like a nurse here for some of you. Okay. Hmm. What else here? Some of y'all could work with children. We got wisdom. Some of you guys, you guys were very wise. Okay, I'm noticing a unicorn. You guys were very different. Uh, communal living. So some of y'all could have been, I'm trying to figure out what, let me get my book, because I don't, I don't know how to describe what that is. Oh, does it come with a book? I'm sorry, guys. But so this is communal living is at the bottom. This is what it looks like. Um, like in the ancient ruin times, like this reminds me very Egyptian. Mm, this is interesting. Okay, what else, spirit? What else for the collective? Like biblical days, some of y'all could have been part of a biblical time, male or female. Okay, we got monk or nun. So, some of you guys did not say like biblical time, some of y'all could have been like monk or nun. Uh, food and hunger. Okay, you could have been like humanitarian here, helping people who uh, were less. Uh, at a disadvantage in life yeah spirituality and religion some of you guys are very spiritual and i feel like your practices for uh your health how you with health care was very uh spiritual like spiritual healers like practitioners you know back in the day uh magic black magic and things and voodoo was used for healing okay you guys are very blessed with your hands look the roman look at this it's the ruin where's that card at where that card go I put it back in. So it was in like the Roman times. Hmm. What else, spirit? For the collective. Yeah. Oh, some of you guys were in a karmic relationship. Uh, and we got karmic relationship. Yeah. I think you guys gained a lot of wisdom from a karmic relationship. We're gonna clarify some of these too. I'm gonna do a few more. We're gonna start to clarify. 
that caused some type of growth and wisdom here. This is like some of y'all could have been in a military relationship back in the day. Yeah, transformation. Okay, yeah. This I feel like a karmic relationship caused, didn't I say, some type of growth and transformation in your past life? Yeah, there it go. Came out again, communal, communal living. And then it was like uh, the Roman time. Yeah, war and battle. Some of you guys had a lover that was in the war. Could have lost a life too. Yeah, somebody was killed. I'm getting a sniper. Who's a sniper? Oh, wow. Um... What is this? Angels. Yeah, I feel like you were very spiritual and connected to a higher source. Yeah, imprisonment or slavery. Hmm. I feel like, because you know, back in the day, um, where did it go? Authority figures. Uh, you could have been... Because of your practices with spiritual and you deal with a lot of magic, they could have tried to lock you up for this. Yeah, I can't make it up. Medicine man or woman. Native American energy on this one. Very Native American. Hmm. And forgiveness. Yeah, so some of you got uh, Native American um, ancestors and blood in you. And you know what? By the history of the Native Americans, they were pushed out of their land. They were imprisoned. They were killed. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Some type of forgiveness is um, in order for you guys, for your ancestors. Okay. All right. So, now I want to, with my spiritual deck, because I see nuns, angels, you know, spirituality, uh religion, monk, I'm going to tap in and see what type of spiritual gifts did you guys have in this past life, spirit, for the collective, okay, what type of gifts did they have, an old soul, so you are someone that's been reincarnated, okay, you have an old soul, yeah, because it's saying like, where is that card, communal living, so it was like, some type of village psychic you guys were very psychic okay and you're an indigo child a person who's come to this world destined to be changed we got baby here so that could be explained in that as well you are a light worker remember you were a uh, a monk or nun someone that's very spiritual you were a medicine man or woman okay you were providing some type of uh, health service here, um, healing people in your community. Yeah, you're highly intuitive and you have tapped into your divine masculine um, energy. You was like some type of leader here, okay? Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, a strength, wisdom, and power of an animal. You're able to shape shift, okay? So let's go ahead and tap in. I want to know about this marriage. I'm really interested in learning more about this um marriage with this baby and this karmic relationship i really want to tap in on that okay because i'm really i'm gonna tap in on all of it though oh i said transformation you said transportation yeah i really feel like somebody dated somebody in the military that got killed okay all right they lost their life in the military um, doing some active service. Okay, so, so we got spouse and baby here. Give me a card for the spouse and baby here. Twin flame. Oh, it was some tower moments. Something happened here. Oh, God. What happened, spirit? I'm going to just move these up. Oh, gosh. Oh, look, as I said, tower moment. Everything started to fall. Okay, so I want to know what's going on with these tower moments, spirit. With his baby and his spouse. If this could have been a military man. Oh, there's another woman involved. They kept the relationship at a standstill. Mm. With a karmic. Oh, wow. So you guys been doing... If this is your... Uh, is this resonating with you? Yeah, eight of wands. This person was stuck. Between you and this other woman. 
Hmm. It's a lot of conflict in this relationship. Yeah, what was the conflict? Oh, this person's dealing with a lot of options. They was in the military, so that explains it. Ooh, look at me forming judgment. I'm just kidding. Um, uh, uh, yeah, we got the nine of pentacles. Somebody was was focused on what make them happy. <laughs> yeah, three of cups, dealing with third party. Mm. Yeah, so what else happened in this relationship? Yeah, judgment was caused. Somebody received karma for what they were putting out. Ooh. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. They were stuck. Unable to move forward. What do you mean by that? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Six of Cups. Princess of Pentacles. So it was someone from their past. Yeah. Three of Swords with the Knight of Wands. And it caused some type of heartbreak to you, Queen of Cups. Someone you were in love. That this person was juggling you. You didn't like it. I feel like, yeah, with this karmic Princess of Wands in reverse. You felt like this person was a homewrecker. Okay, I heard. A hoe. Young, immature. Yeah, third party came out again. Three of Cups with the Emperor. Yeah. Your masculine was dealing with that was in the army. Yeah. Six of Wands. They want to be free to do what it is they wanted to do. Gosh. They did this back in the day too. Yeah. Knight of Swords. This person was very cold about when it comes to discussing um, betrayal. If you feel like this person betrayed you, they were very cold, you know, with their actions. They didn't really care about what they were doing. They didn't feel like, you know, it was a big deal. Hmm. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune here. I feel like time has was ran out for this Five of Pentacles. Yeah. The cycle was closed here for this Knight of Wands from being, but for what they were putting out, okay, they was, they was getting some type of bad luck that left them in a Five of Pentacles energy here. Feel like they lost everything, and they lost you. Mm. Two of Pentacles juggling, Knight of Cups juggling you with these other lovers, these options. What else, Spirit? Yeah, this person was stuck in their head. Yep. Ten of Pentacles. Stretch card. Could be the Leo energy here. Yes. Three of Wands, the world here. Moving forward, building. Yeah, this person was received a lot of bad karma. Justice is here. Spirit, clarify the why is the justice in reverse. Ooh. Spirit, clarify why the justice in reverse. What happened? Why is it this Nine of Cups? Why the justice is in reverse? Because they were dealing with too many lovers. I felt like, you know, on this card, yep, the hermit. They was failing to look at themselves and grow. The high friend wasn't listening to um, the divine um, guidance here as well as this is significant for marriage. Yeah, it was a death here. I feel like it was a literal death. Didn't I say it? King of Pentacles to your spouse. I said it. Died at battle. 44 on the clock. 444. Yeah. Mm. Damn. I was for it to come out. I knew it was going to come out. All right. So, 
I'm gonna have to clear off the table real quick to get. I want to clarify. So we clarified this karmic relationship. So a karmic has came and in, in, impacted you guys. Is um, you guys uh, marriage here? Okay. So that was for that karmic relationship, baby. Male, female, spouse. Okay. All right. So I want to get some more information on this monk or nun or spiritual and religion. We know what gifts they had here. There was a light worker. So give me some more tarot on this spirit. Um, you know, little one came into the deck. Angel. Came up to my yeah, I feel like people were trying to go against your practices, okay? They didn't, they wasn't, because, you know, people, yeah, not a couple of I felt like people didn't, wasn't understanding of um, your ways or practices here. I felt like you were very different. Yeah, you were unable to move forward with what you were doing because people were trying to stop it. Yeah, four of pentacles. But you, you were still building and growing and learning on it. Yeah. I felt like the lovers with the two of cups. I felt, I don't feel like this is a little relationship though. Spirit, clarify this. The four of pentacles, the lovers, and the two of cups. Uh, the world here though that's humanity yeah I felt like humanity was stopping you from what you were trying to do I felt like they didn't understand your way of doing things they felt like it was evil yeah but you were really coming out by the nine of cups being here coming out of a place of love wow yeah you got people who was in power that was trying to stop you I can't make it up. He was trying to stop you, seven of wands, from what you were doing here. You had people in power trying to stop you. Okay, they was always coming towards you. Okay. They didn't like what you were doing. They could. I really feel like they felt like you were evil. Yeah, can't make it up. They felt like you were worshiping the devil. When he, I, and let me tell y'all something. Like, back in the day, witchcraft was seen as something that was demonic. Okay? No matter what the intentions were. So, they would try to imprison and kill these witches. And I felt like they were trying to stop you from what you were trying to do. The way you were healing humanity. And I felt like it's because they didn't understand. Because um, Nine of Swords came out. It was a lack of understanding. Mental. Hmm. Anything else, Spirit? You were trying to be blocked from the world. Yeah. From offering, offering your practices. They wanted to lay you to rest. Uh, Ten of Swords. Hmm. Yep. They wanted you to stop. Also, her attaining character. So, they tried to pay to it this, this light that you were evil to people. Yeah. That you were e evil to people to stop them from investing. Because um, you could have been someone who, this was your job. Ten of Pentacles. And they was trying to mess with your stability as well. People pay for your services. Mm -hmm. For your magic. Ace of Wands. You are very powerful. You are a light worker. Yeah. The sun. The sun. Didn't I say light worker? The sun. Anything else, spirit? This is interesting. Anything else? So I close out. Why is the four of wands coming out crossing, spirit? 
the emperor. Yeah, they was trying to, I feel like they was trying to stop you. Yeah. They were trying to kill you. <laughs> and I feel like they would stop you. I feel like, remember, Comonial Living came out. So, you could have been someone that had a following. And they were trying to stop this, okay? They wanted you. They were trying to kill you, literally. Yeah, because you were someone that was an authority, someone that was a leader, okay? You was a, a leader. So, they, and you're in this Comonial town. So, Comonial Living. They was trying to stop your following. It's weird. It's like Jesus time. Like, I don't know. I seen scribes. Some of y'all was. Mm -hmm. I know this might sound weird when I say it, but some of y'all probably helped write the Bible. That's how powerful y'all was. Y'all was back in that time. And I feel like some of y'all had a hand in writing the Bible. No, no, I'm not joking. Like, I, I, I feel that. And people were trying to stop. You know how when the disciple, like a disciple, that's what I mean. Not like God or Jesus. But you know in that time how they were trying to kill the disciples and stuff like that. That's the type of energy I'm getting from this. Like you were someone like that who went around in these small towns coming in living and healed people and saved them and brought them to spirituality. Okay. You were someone that was a prayer warrior, okay? You had sisters from the angels and ancestors, okay? You were healing people, as you've seen. Um, you are highly intuitive, okay? You got messages from, straight from divine. You had an old soul. You've been doing this for lifetimes. You contain a lot of wisdom because you have been here before, okay? You provided help for people in a different way. I feel like you also was in a time where you could have used magic. Like witchy. You heal people with your magic. Okay? And they were trying to stop you from this as well. And then you had in a past life, you also had a relationship with a, someone who was in the army. Okay? Who could have traveled for work because also transportation is here. So did some type of traveling like was in the army who went overseas a lot, who was fighting in the war, who were dealing with a karmic lover, which caused you guys uh re marriage to uh crumble okay and this person was receiving karma and um they lost their life in battle and battle wow that's deep all right i'm gonna close out with a card of encouragement for the collective yeah let me use this one Spirit guides and sister high star light. That's a that was interesting. I like that. Give me a um card for this reading to encourage the collective for who may resonate with spirit for them now. For their current life they are in now. got protection and longing for home oh my gosh let me tell y'all something what did that remind you of angels right protection call back your power call the core soul revival cut the core soul revival i feel like some of you guys are still dealing with this this karmic um not this karmic well yes okay let me say that okay it's weird to make me say that by accident some of y'all are still dealing with this same karmic energy from your past life. This person that came and interrupted your spiritual marriage. Okay. But Spirit said, call back your power. We are still there. Cut them cords. And um, so revive or revive your soul. Bring that that power back. You are highly protected. Okay. They want you to step back into that same power that you had before. Longing for a home belonging. The original light workers. I feel like. In this current life, you guys are in separation with that same energy, your twin flame, your spiritual connection you had in a past life. You guys are in separation. You guys have the feeling of wanting to go return, longing for home. Okay? Want to feel like being somewhere you feel like you belong. You know, that's that twin flame energy returning, that, that home feeling. And your original light worker. I can't make it up. That came out twice. Look, y'all remember? Y'all was helping humanity. 
Y'all have a big purpose on y'all life. This is so cool. Look at that. Light worker, light worker. You are the original light worker. Didn't I say in the time of Jesus? I ain't make that up, y'all. The original. Okay? You were the original. You're old soul. You keep reincarnating and carnating. And y'all keep dealing with the same um karmic um energy in y'all lifetimes with your twin flame. And I really feel like that y'all have to cut this cord. This has to be closed out. And I mainly feel like it's your person. Yes, if you don't have a spiritual baby with your person in this lifetime, they're definitely made to come through again. Okay? And y'all are definitely made to be married. Okay? So take it as it resonates. Okay? Because I feel like your person has a calling on their life as well. Like, you guys are humanitarian. At the bottom of the deck, do something to change your energy. Spirit wants you to raise your vibration, dance, you know, do anything that's a form of expression. Release some of that energy. Okay, have some fun. Be free. No, go outside. Okay, go with the flow. Okay. All right, gang, gang. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Peace.